Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to Yesterday's Tomorrow's. My name is Kim and welcome to my page. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, happy Thursday. And it is craft around the clock. Light it up week. Yay. I love theme weeks. Love theme weeks. So thank you, Tracy Campbell, for another wonderful theme week. So it's light it up. So we are going to light up a lamp. <laughs> We are gonna do a lampshade, guys. So we're gonna make this lampshade look beautiful. We're gonna do a shabby chic um, lampshade. So that's what I'm doing for Light It Up. If you're watching this and you don't see that red light button there in the corner, that means you're watching it on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, just so I know you're watching. And I could say hello to you and hold on a second. Let me pull you sweet fancy friends up on my page here so I can see the comments. You can see it better on here. Then with these old eyes, there we go. Now I can see you and I can see the comments. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Kathy. Oh, you got your goodies today. Yay, I'm so glad. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Cheryl. Thank you for joining me today. And guys, if you have a business page, please put in your link so we all can follow each other. I would love when people do that. Hello, Mary Harris. How are you today? Thank you, everybody. And thank you for joining me on my segment of Craft Around the Clock. Hello, Deb. How are you, my sweet friend? Please, guys, put in your link. Let's follow everybody. Um, we are one big, happy crafting community here. And we and I just love everybody to go follow each other. Hello, Patricia Jones. Patricia, happy birthday. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Lisa Hawkins. Hello, Dawn. I want to make sure, Patricia, is it your birthday today? I think a little birdie told me that in my Facebook page. Let me know if it's your birthday and I will sing to you. Hello, Dawn. How are you? Thanks for joining. All right. So here we go. I got this lamp. Look at this, guys. In this was, I got so many things at that white elephant sale. Hello, Shirley. This is a lamp. But look, it's a boring, boring lampshade. I know, isn't it? But isn't this beautiful? This is really pretty, but the lamp is, the lampshade's not so. Let's take the lampshade off and we're going to make it pretty. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And I was going to do something with this, but I don't know. I kind of like it just the way it is. You know, I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. So light it up. But guess what, guys? I bought light bulbs, but they don't fit. So after I put my lampshade on, I was still going to light it up, but the, the hole is sm smaller, so... Uh, I got to, uh, I got to get new light. I got to get different light bulbs. I got the wrong size. Hello, Donna. Oh, I'm glad you're back, Cheryl. Thank you. All right. So we're going to make this really pretty. And it is your birthday. Oh, everybody, please wish Patricia, our fancy friend, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. Yay. I hope you're having a very, very special day, Patricia. Happy birthday, and may God bless you with many, many more. All right, so look at that. Isn't that so boring, guys? Look. Oh. So with the paper that we're going to use today, this is decoupage queen paper. Look at that. That screams shabby chic, doesn't it, guys? Look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? Yes, everybody, well, um, please join me in wishing Patricia happy birthday. Hello, Beth. How are you? Hello, Mary Harris. Hello, Kim. So we're, this is Decoupage Queen. This is, their, um, this is one of their papers they carry. It's uh, AB Studios and it's Decoupage, Decoupage Rice Paper number 0525. Um, but they, I do have that on my website if you're interested. But this is under Decoupage Queen, guys. I know, isn't that so pretty? It's just gorgeous. This screams, right? Um, shabby chic, which I just love. Thank you everybody for wishing Patricia happy birthday. And then we're gonna do the bottom with some pretty lace. So um, let's get started. Let's move that out of the way. Um, we need to put, even though this is a pretty light base, it still has too much of a beige undertone to it. So I wanna paint it white first. I want that paper to pop. So um, when you're doing um, decoupage guys, don't use your really good paint for underneath. Um, Cause you know, you have to put a, like a light color to make your decoupage paper pop. Just use like apple barrel. This, what is this? This is Waverly, even though Waverly is a good paint. I just don't have any apple barrel white, but I just don't want to use, don't use like your really expensive paints to put under decoupage paper because it's, you're just using it just to make your papers pop. That's it. Thank you everybody for wishing our fancy friend Patricia happy birthday. All right. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get a light coat. See what I'm doing? You don't have to don't be, don't worry about going perfect on it, guys. You are, you're going to put paper over it. 
so it doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, Terry, how are you, sweet friend? Thanks for joining me today. Terry, how's Annie doing? Terry has an, adopted a new um, puppy, and the puppy's name is Annie. And I haven't asked you in a while how Annie's doing. So how is Annie doing? Um, I know he wasn't feeling so well. I mean, she wasn't feeling so well. Um, and I hope she's doing better. I'm sorry, I meant to ask you that so many times. So I hope she's doing better. There we go. All right. There we go. So I'm just trying to get, to see this? I'm just trying to get a coat of the white on there. That's it. So I hope you're enjoying Light It Up Week. It's been a fun theme week. We got one more day to go. We got tomorrow. And, um, and I can't wait to see what the other next theme week is. I'm not sure. I'm, um, Tracy probably already has it decided. I, I don't know if she posted it, but, um, I don't remember what it is. So, Oh no, Terry, what else can she, that poor little Annie get? Yeast infection in her ears and allergies. Oh no, poor Annie. Oh, can I tell you how much I love that name, Annie, for your dog? And she looks like an Annie. Terry called her when she got her little orphan Annie because um, she adopted her. How cute is that, right, little orphan Annie? I love it. I love it. There we go. Oh, so we're just getting a coat up there on this. Where did I get the lamp? Oh gosh, you know what? I got it at a white elephant sale at my son's old um, school, his elementary school. Every year they have a white elephant sale and boy, do they have a lot of great stuff. Hello, Pam, how are you? Um, so that's where I got it from. So I don't know where the person got it, who donated it, but I got so much stuff from that white elephant sale. Every time I come on, I think I'm saying, I got this from my, the white elephant sale. Hello, Irma, how are you? Thanks for joining us, fancy friend. I appreciate you. And guys, if you don't mind, you know the drill for our fancy friends who do not get the notifications because Mr. FB is not doing it for them. Could you just give the hearts so maybe um, I come up in their feed and then they can um, see it. Hello, Ocean Breeze and me. How are you doing, Mary? Hello. Darche Designs. How are you doing, Darche? I hope, I don't know if I'm saying that word correct, but I hope I am. So how are you doing, Mary? I hope you're doing well. I know you were, you were in the middle of a, of a move, so I hope everything's going okay with your move. Thank you, Cheryl. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Guys, please put in your link so everybody can follow each other. Bonnie, you're not on a replay. This is live. <laughs> you're live, Bonnie. Hello, Sue. How are you? Thanks for coming on, Sue. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Guys, can you believe the summer's over? Last weekend was Labor Day weekend, and that's the, like the official end of the summer, and kids are all back in school, and it, I can actually smell fall in the air, especially up here in the, on the East Coast. You can smell it. You're unpacking and working on the new craft room. Oh, yay. Nothing like a new craft room, right? You know what's good about a new craft room? You, you find all the stuff that you thought you lost. <laughs> I know I did. When I was getting this new craft room, I'm like, oh, my God. Look at all the stuff I didn't even know I had. All the paints and stuff. Oh, Irma, you received your happy mail too. Yay. Guys, you know what? Please make sure that you are, that you belong to the free Yesterday's Fancy Friends group so you can um, put all the stuff that you create on there so we all can enjoy seeing all your creations. I know I do. You guys get to see everything I make. I love to see what you guys make. Even if you're not, a, like I said, if you're not a crafter, um, if you make beautiful peach pies like Terry does or anything chocolate chip cookies cheesecakes or if you garden if you want to show off your prized tomatoes just put all that stuff in we just love to see any anything you get excited about we want to see so just put it in there but just you, please go and join the group it's just today's fancy friends is that's what it's called yeah, oh my God, yes, Jacqueline, we just heard here in New Jersey, gosh, Queen Elizabeth has passed away. Oh, we loved her here in the States too, Jacqueline. We sure did. Irma, how do you do that? Just go on yesterday's 
Fancy Friends page, press join group. You might have a couple of questions you have to answer and I will go approve it. The only reason I just don't approve, just let it go and everybody approve because we get, you know, get those trolls in there. We don't want any trolls coming on our Fancy Friends page. So, yeah, so everybody, prayers for, for the queen. She passed away. We, we got the news about a couple hours ago and um, that was sad. We all loved her here. We really did. She was one classy lady. She sure was. Always, what I always remember is she always had her pocketbook with her. <laughs> she always did, right? Hey, Linda, how are you? She always had, and she was always, you know, if she had a blue outfit on, she had a blue purse. You know what I mean? She was always just so put together. And, uh, you know, I feel like we're getting away, we're getting away from that, especially with, you know, COVID in 2020 being all relaxed. Nobody gets dressed up fancy anymore. There we go. Okay, so that's, uh, ooh, just a little bit more. There we go. Thank you, Linda, for coming on. I appreciate it. So, Irma, if you have any problems coming onto the on that page, please uh, just let me know. Pro guys, if you ever have any problems, don't uh, hesitate to private message me. Um, I definitely get my. Um, that's you'll, I'll de you'll definitely get a response from me if you private message me. So she loved her handbag. She sure did. I I would like to know how many handbags do you think Queen Elizabeth has? How many handbags? I am sure it's tons. <laughs> All right, so let's go. And I gotta make sure which. This is the same thing like when I do my uh, when I do my signs. I gotta make sure that wherever the hook is, right? So this is this is the top. This is the bottom. So all right, so let's get the paper on there and let me see which one I want to which I want to use. Okay, so then we're just gonna tear it and we're gonna cut it. I should say I'm not gonna tear this paper. I'm going to cut it. So I just want to make a marking, just with my fingers, just like that. And that'll be on the bottom. Okay, just like that. So I have a marking right there. Can you see that a marking right there? So where's the marking? I'm just going to fold it. And then I know right where to cut it. Yeah, she was very classy. Linda, I agree. Oh, three or 400, I'm sure. Oh my God. Could you imagine what she's going to do with all them? Really, Beth? That is so interesting. I never knew that. Would you hear? Would you read that, guys? Um, her handbags were way, way to tell the guards if she was safe or if, if she felt she was in danger, depending on how she held it. Beth never knew that. Boy, that is an interesting, um, an interesting FYI. I can't wait to tell my sister. My sister loved the Queen. I wonder if she knew that. <laughs> that isn't that interesting. Thank you, Beth, for letting us know that. Hello, Angie. How are you doing? That is very interesting. I never knew that. Wow. And here I just thought she's just carrying it around because she likes to carry it around. So that's something. Thank you, Beth, for letting us know that. I appreciate it. That is, I can't wait to tell. I can't wait to tell my sister that. My sister loved the queen. She, she was like, can I have the queen just die? And I'm like, she just loved following her. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. We're gonna need that one for the other side. And then I'm just gonna, if you can see, there's some there's some white edging. I'm just taking the white edging off. I know, wasn't that very interesting, Mary? I know, right, Terry? Beth, I, I am so happy you told us all that. I named all my dolls after her. Did you, Patsy? I know, right? I think she's, that, how old was she exactly when she passed away today? I know it's 90 something, but I'm not sure of the exact number. I know she was 90 something, so God bless, right? <gasps> God bless. Thank you. I, no, thank you, Beth. I, I never knew that piece of information. I just knew she's, if you saw her, she always had a purse on her. Hello, Nora. And James is with you. Hello, James. How was school today? I hope you had the best day ever. Because you know why? Today was the best day every day. <laughs> oh, I don't know if guys, if I, if you, I, maybe you were not when I told the story. When I used to work at a school um, in the lunch program years and years ago, um, I used to tell the preschoolers that were over the last to go into the school, do you know what today is? And they would look at me, but I would say it every day and they make like, and they acted like it was, it was brand new every day. Um, oh, she was 96. Oh, okay. Thank you, Diane. Um, they would be like, no, what? I go, today's the best day ever day. And they were like, oh, it is. I said, yeah. So you have to have the best day ever. I would say it every day to them, every day before they walked into the school. This was the, this was the preschool. And, um, and then one time this little boy at the very end of the day, 
because we were still there after school at, when the kids were coming back into into the the meet you know the group hall and he said to me guess what I go what he goes it wasn't the best day ever <laughs> so James I hope you had the best day ever honey <gasps> hello Marilyn how are you Yes, Pam, I agree. I agree, Pam. 70 years on the throne. Oh my goodness gracious. God bless. God bless her. She had a wonderful she had a wonderful life. All right, so let's put this on here and now we're just going to decoupage. Now, this um decoupage queen paper is rice paper, guys. It's different than Roy Cycle Treasures paper. This is a rice paper. Um which feel rice paper to me feels more like material than does the regular decoupage paper. That's why I chose this paper. Because it feels like more like a material to me. You're doing okay? Good, Marilyn. I'm glad. 70 years on the throne. That's a long time. All right. So my decoupage medium of choice, okay, as you guys always know, it is um, Pink Couture um, decoupage medium in satin. I put them in squeeze bottles because it's easier to use. I've been hacking, trying to get my friends back. Hmm, I don't know what that means. My oldest daughter was kicked. Out. My oldest daughter was kicked out of preschool. Why was she kicked out of preschool? And what could she possibly have done? <laughs> oh no! Oh Lord! There we go. All right. So I'm just putting. If you could see, I'm just putting the, the decoupage medium on. Now you might have to put a little extra because this is material, and material is going to want to soak up that decoupage medium, guys. But you have the paint on there, so it's kind of give it. It's almost like a little bit of a sealer, if that makes sense. When you put the paint on, just like that. And I just want to go a little at a time. There we go, so you can see. All right, so let me see. There is, where is, okay, though, that's the end. Okay, well, let me get that. All right, so let's put the real pretty rose on there first. And this is gonna be easy to do because it fits right in between. Um, there we go. If it's right in between there, you see you got a little lip here and you got a lip, little lip there, just like that. And you just hold on. Let me get my little my little tool just to, to get it on there. Just like that. There we go. Can you see? And there we go. Look how easy that is. Um, Diane, sure, you can use Mod Podge. Absolutely. The only thing with Mod Podge is, as I like to tell everybody, Mod Podge does not have a anti-yellowing agent in its formula. And if you're worried about this yellowing, over time, I don't know how much time, I always say that, I don't know, um, then I would get a, a product that has an anti-yellowing agent in it. Now this product I'm using does have an anti-yellowing agent in it, so this will not yellow over time, but Mod Podge will yellow over time. I just don't know how much. Hello, Mary Snyder, how are you? So that's the only thing with Mod Podge. Can you use Mod Podge? Absolutely, but it just will yellow over time. And then I just like to press it down with your fingers first. Just go like that, just to get your little air bubbles out. I don't mind wrinkling, you know me. Don't mind the wrinkling. <gasps> oh, oh no. Hello, Pauline. How are you? Everybody, please welcome Pauline to our page. Thank you, Pauline, for coming. I appreciate it. Hello, Kathleen. How are you? We've got Ireland in the house. we got Ireland. We've got England. How exciting is that, guys? Jacqueline's in England. We've got Kathleen from Ireland. How is how is Ireland today? I know the whole world is sad today that the that the Queen died. I'm telling you, she if she was loved by all. She sure was. There we go. So now you just move that over just like that. And just bring that in. Smooth it with your fingers. Just like that. Can you get the drift? It's easy, guys. Yes, thank you everybody for welcoming Pauline. I appreciate it. There we go. And whoop. I'm holding it there. I'm trying to get it. Oh my guys, there we go. There. And I'm just I'm finding I was using this thing, but I'm finding that my my fingers are doing a little bit better of a job. Can you see? Guys, look how pretty that is. This is what it looked like before. Now look how much prettier that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, did you not, this is the lamp, guys. This is it. It's a little bird. Isn't that so cute? I'm sorry, did I move it out of the screen? 
Um, it's a little bird. That's what we're using. That's that's the lamp. There we go. And I got it. You know, somebody asked me where I got it. It was at it was at a white elephant sale at my son's elementary school. They have it every year. And I don't know. I think I got it for like a dollar or something like that. There we go. There we go. Look how easy that is, guys. Simple. So, so simple to redo a lamp. Hello, Shelly. How are you? Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. You love it, Irma. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I think, I mean, you can do um, regular tissue paper, but I'm fine that the rice paper, because it's more like a material, um, might work a little bit better. I'm sure regular de decoupage paper will work well, too. There we go. And then you just take it, and then you just put this down just like that. Take your fingers, and just rub it in, just like so. And wait till you see the pretty lace that I have for the bottom of it. It's so beautiful. What are you using to put the napkin in on the shade? Pauline, it's uh, it's Paint Couture. Uh, hold on, do I have it right there? Um, it's Paint Couture. Um, Decoupage medium in satin. Um, I have it in my link tree. You'll find it in the company All Paint Products, and you'll find it on their site. That's that's my decoupage medium of choice. It does have a built-in sealer, um, or built-in built-in anti-yellowing agent, I should say. So you don't have to worry about it yellowing over time. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm just smoothing it out just like that, just like that. This side is almost dry already. There we go. And hope, let me see if I can, hold on guys. Did I have it right here? Oh, here it goes. Let me just show you right here. This is what it looks like. Decoupage, pink couture, decoupage medium. This says matte. I'm using right now the one that says shine. The shine one um, dries like a satin. It does not dry shine. So if you're worried about that, um, don't. I prefer the, the satin finish and that one, the shine finish like a satin finish. There we go. And then just, I'm just doing it with my fingers just like so. There we go. And let me lift this off. What's happening is because it's material, guys, it wants to soak up the, um, it really wants to soak up the decoupage medium. So if you feel that it's not wet enough, just lift it up and just go put some more back on. This paper is very forgiving. It's not like as if you're using a napkin where, you know, you, you, it might tear or something like that. It's, it's very forgiving. It's thicker, so it, you don't have to worry about that. So there we go. And yep, that's it. And you just smooth it out with your fingers, just like that. Um, on my link tree, in my, should be on the very bottom of your, of this video right here, guys. There should be a link to my link tree. If not, you can find my link tree on my Facebook page. And on my link tree, if you open it up, you'll see all paint products and, I mean, not all paint products. All paint products, you'll find this. And don't forget to use my code YES10 and you get 10% off your entire order. But this paper you find on my website, which is on my link tree also, and your decoupage queen. But look, guys, look how adorable. Look how cute. You're welcome. Okay, so now let's get this other piece right here. Let's get the white off. And how many, I'm doing good for time. We're good. We're good. So thank you, Tracy Campbell, for another theme week. We, us creators love theme weeks. It makes us think outside the box. And I've had this lamp since the beginning of June. And it's finally giving me my chance to do it. As soon as I bought it, I knew I was going to, I was going to um, do something with the top. Hello, Yolanda. Thank you for coming back. Yolanda's, you, well, you, well, Yolanda, you're not a newbie anymore. The first time you're here, you're newbie. Second time, you're a fancy friend. So, Yolanda, you are a fancy friend now. So, thank you for returning. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see where I, what I want. Now, of course, I want the pretty flowers. So let me see, hold on guys, I just have to move this just like that, just so I can see what I'm doing here. And, okay, right there, there we go. So we're gonna start from here. 
and connect it. And there we go. Look how. It, and it doesn't have to be. You, it's not like wallpaper where you have to make sure that it is totally. You know, this. You know, um, ex you're matching it up. It just doesn't have to be that way. Ah, oh, thank you, little Yolanda. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for saying that. You guys are always have such kind words for me, and I, and believe me, I do appreciate it. I really do. Sue, how are you? The first time watching? Well, welcome, Sue, everybody. Welcome, Sue, to our page. Um, remember, Sue, the first time you're here, you're a newbie. You come back, Sue, you're going to be a fancy friend, just like Yolanda. So come on back. We would love to have you back. There we go. Okay, so now we're just doing this. There we go, putting our decoupage medium on. The Pink Couture is my favorite medium, decoupage medium in satin. Now they have it in satin, they have it in gloss. If you want, if you like your, fin if you want your, if you want your finish glossy. And they do have matte if you just want a plain matte finish. There we go. I know, isn't this paper pretty? It is, it is so shabby chic. It's so, just so darn pretty. Okay, so, let me see, where am I going? And... Okay, hold on, guys. Let me. I know, I know you can't see right now, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting there. That just on, just so. There we go. Okay, so there I go. I just put the second piece right on there, just like that. And I'm just going to put my decoupage medium just to get the two. And and you're never going to even see the um, the two pieces of paper together. You will not see it. Okay, so now I'm just taking my fingers, just like so, just like that, and just rubbing it in. That's it. Just rub it in, little by little. And if you, like I said, if you find that you don't have enough, now I'm finding right now that it, there's not enough medium up on here because this is material. It's just soaking it right up. You just put some more in there. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I know, Lucia, right? Isn't this going to be so pretty? So go find yourself a lamp. You don't like the lampshade? Look what you can do. You can go and create another beautiful lampshade for yourself. And we're not done with it yet, ladies. Wait till you see the beautiful um, lace I'm gonna put on the bottom. And I think that's really gonna make it. So that, there we go. There we go, just go like that. And boy, is this soaking it up. Oh, you need surgery? Oh no. Oh, prayers, I hope. Um, I hope the surgery will make it better. And let's, please guys, if you're gonna, if you are a fancy friend and you're gonna start doing lives, let us, let me know. And I will make sure I get it out there and, and all of us fancy friends will all come on and support you. That's what we, we are here for, to support all of us, support each other, um, absolutely. Oh, Jackie, yes, on a lamp. Yes, absolutely, this would look beautiful on there. And make sure if you do it, go join the Fancy Friends page. We would love to see it. There we go, and just a little bit more and we're done. I, okay, I just wanna make sure I got my glue gun on. I've done that before where we had to sit and wait for, our, for the glue gun to heat up. There we go. Now the only thing is guys, that we gotta, Really, when you're doing a lampshade, it does take a, a good amount of the of the decoupage medium because it wants to because this material it just wants to soak it up. There we go. Thank you, Jackie. I, we would appreciate. It. We'd love to see it all finished. Definitely. There we go. Okay. So, and I just take that like that, and then I'm gonna see exactly where I need to cut it. There we go. And all right. So let me get my scissors. And let me give it a cut. Just like so. And look, I got an extra little piece left over. Keep this, guys. Don't throw it away with your scraps. Look at that. You can definitely put that on like a, a tag or something. Something really pretty. Um, one day I'm going to do a live on just my scraps that I have. Um, just so I can show you guys what you can do with just your scraps. Oh, Nora, yes, you have to try it. And it's so easy. I mean, come on, guys. This is, we haven't even been here. This is like a half hour. And, um, 
But what I would do after this is dry, definitely go and give it a second coat of your Mod Podge. Not your Mod, well, your Mod Podge, if you want to use Mod Podge or if you decoupage medium, you definitely want to give it a second coat, but I would let it totally dry. Now I would let this dry 24 hours before I put my second coat on. You have a coat of paint on this. You have your decoupage medium on and you have your paper on there. So it's really going to take a long time for this inside to get dry. So before I put my second coat, I would absolutely wait 24 hours. Look at how pretty that is. Wait 24 hours for it to dry and go put a second coat, maybe even a third coat. Now I, when I go to put my second or third coat, they're thin coats. They're not thick coats, they're thin coats and um, let them dry 24 hours again in between each coat and just use the thin coats and then um, you should be fine. Now, right now I'm just going like this and I'm just smoothing it out if I see any, now I don't mind wrinkling, but I just don't want any air bubbles, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm looking, if I see any air bubbles, then I'm pushing them down with my finger. Um, wrinkling, I don't care, I love the wrinkles. There's not much wrinkles, but if there is a wrinkle, I'm keeping it. It makes the lampshade um, look older to me. Okay, so there we go. So look how pretty that looks. Isn't that so pretty? Hello, Wendy Martin. Um, I'm using right here, it's called, ah, Jackie, it's Paint Couture Decoupage Medium and Shine. Um, I have it in my link tree on my Facebook page under all paint products. This is from All Paint Products. Um, if you're going to uh, purchase, use my code YES10 and it gives you 10% off your order. Save yourself some money. But guys, tell me that's not beautiful. So gorgeous. All right. So now look at the look at, guys, look at this pretty ribbon. Now I got this from Hobby Lobby. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me show you. So pretty. Um, let's see. Ooh, it's not giving the price on it usually they have the price on here um but wait till the pro hobby lobby ribbons go on sale every other week um this is not the week ribbons on sale it's next week so i was just at hobby lobby um and you can get it for a really great price you get this ribbon in the section where you find the material i get a lot of my ribbons from the wedding department um where they get the lace and stuff but this is by where you find the fabric i know um, I didn't paint the lamp, that's the way it came, and I was gonna do something with it, but I kind of like it just the way it is, all chippy and old. So I'm gonna leave it. I just painted the lampshade. Definitely painted the lampshade because you want it to look white underneath. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do now, guys, so I can, there we go. Let's put the lampshade back on so I can add my, um, hold on, let me see. Let me see, I want this to be right here. Okay. And I bought the wrong light bulbs. And so I have to take the ones back I got because I wanted to light it up for you, but because this is lighted up week, but I, this is really tiny, tiny in there. And I bought the ones with the fatter base and it doesn't fit. So yeah, I love it. I love it as it is just perfect because this isn't, this is a lot going on up here. So this by itself and what I'm going to use this lamp for, I have a bay window on my kitchen and I put it in my bay. I'm going to put it in my bay window on a timer. So every night, um, it'll go on and off, and I think it looks, should look really pretty. But look at that, guys. Isn't that so pretty? Now, it's pretty as it is, but wait, look. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We're going to put this lace coming off of there. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? Oh, Linda, that's a problem? <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Thank you for wishing Patricia happy birthday. Um, that would be, I guess that would be dangerous. Mine is an hour well, well yesterday it was over an hour and a half to get home with the traffic oh my gosh but um but i'm getting a michael so it's going to be seven minutes from my house so <gasps> yes it's patricia's birthday everybody please wish our fancy friend um patricia a happy birthday um thank you okay so this is the back so this is the back right here so i'm going to start from the back and work the work work my way that way guys and it's easy to fly that see when you got this little you got there where it comes together and all you're gonna do is take your glue gun 40 minutes sue i'm about the same i got 50 minutes to hobby lobby so it's it's not something i i'm gonna go all the time to hello sheila my sweet sister friend how are you doing sheila thank you for coming on i appreciate you so 
Thank you. Please go follow my friend. You guys, I hope you, and you must go. You must already follow her. Simple Simply Creations by Sheila. She's so sweet. Please go follow her. If you don't already, um, you will just adore her. There we go. Woo. There we go. Woo. Guys, if you have a Ryobi, then you know it is. They are hot. <gasps> they are hot. Okay, so let me go. So look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Adorable. Just so cute. So I hope you're enjoying Light It Up Week here on Craft Around the Clock. Um, I can't wait to see what the next theme week is. She probably announced it, and I just don't know what it is. But it should be something pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. There we go. There we go. Look how easy that is to put this on. Look, guys, it's just a glue gun. I know. Isn't Sheila super? I know. I know. Finger protections, please. I know I have them in the drawer over here. <laughs> I do have them. My sweet friend, Terry, sent them to me, and I think I need to go get them. I was dangerous for you and your sister. I know, right? Me and my sister will be there all the time, too. Hello, Susie from Denmark. Oh, my gosh, ladies. Denmark, Ireland, and England we have on are with us today. Yay. Oh, my gosh. How exciting this is. So super exciting. Yes, Terry, you sent me those, and they they are in um, they are in my drawer over there. I will go get them now, but... Um, I'm afraid to let this piece just hang. <laughs> so next time I make sure I have them. Put them on, silly. I know, Terry. Uh, they're right in my drawer right there. What I got to do is I have to put them in the drawer here, not over there. When I was getting my craft room back together again, I put some stuff where they're not easy to get to. And I need the stuff that I'm going to use every day put in this drawer. <laughs> Yes, what is the temperature in Denmark? Good question. Here in New Jersey, it's uh, it's, it's a little warmer out today. It's 80, it was cloudy this morning. Now the sun's coming out, um, but I'm looking forward to, the. I'm looking forward to a 60 degree day. That's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, so let me get my scissors. Let me cut this where I see that it's gonna come on the, on the edge here. There we go. Love this ribbon, guys. So I remember, wait, next week, if you're going to be at Hobby Lobby next week, if you're interested in this ribbon, it will be half price. And they, oh, they have their Christmas ribbon. Doesn't matter when. It's 50% off, guys. And I got some beautiful Christmas ribbon yesterday. It's raining. Oh. It's 61 in Denmark today everybody 61 that's that's perfect weather Susie 61 is perfect weather I think anyway I love I don't like it when it's super duper hot I like it oh and rain that's okay you need rain every now and then you do for the plants and the <gasps> you love my lazy Susie I did this oh gosh I don't know how many years ago when I used to use um Hocus Pocus. Do you remember Hocus Pocus transfers, guys? Um, I think there's, I don't know. I haven't heard about them in a while. I think they're still in business, but I'm not sure in the United States. This is a Hocus Pocus transfer that's on here. But I thought it would be pretty to use. I've just been sitting there, and I'm like, I should use it. They do. Guys, did you see in Hobby Lobby, I showed you that they have, this is the exact same one. They have it in um, Hobby Lobby for 12 and 12 and change, and it says, it's brown, it says gather here. You can make the exact same thing, um, but it's only $12 for Lazy Susan. You are not gonna get any better than that. And then look, guys, is it, look at how adorable. Look at that, ay, ay, ay. Yes, Susie, thank you so much for saying that. We were just talking about the queen um, just before. You have Hocus Pocus transfers? I know, I still have a bunch of them I gotta use. I gotta use them up. But look, guys, look at how cute that is. Whoop, I see a little bit of wrinkle. And remember, when you put this paper on, you might see a little bit, if you don't like wrinkles, if, um, let it dry. When it dries, it goes, it'll stretch and it'll go back. That You'll see a lot less wrinkles after it's dry. 
I know that I think the lace makes it guys I just wish I had the I just wish I had my um light bulb I gotta find out I don't even know I gotta I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's and maybe bring this with me and show them the base of it because it's it's really a tiny hole in there yikes Oh, Nora, you bought one of those Lazy Susans. Yay. Um, Hocus Pocus transfers. Um, a, a, um, a, a place that I used to be affiliated with used to sell them, and they don't sell them anymore. Oh, tell James have a great soccer game. James, have a great soccer game, honey. Um, so I don't know where you can get Hocus Pocus. I would tell you, but I just don't know where to get Hocus Pocus transfers anymore. I just don't. But that's a hocus pocus transfer, guys. I don't know. Um, Grace on design. Um, a friend of mine used to carry them, and she doesn't carry them anymore. So, probably a candelabra base. You know what? I thought so ter too, Terry. But it's not. It's they're still too big. Because I have I have a I have a chandelier in my house, and I thought that was it, but it's just not. So I don't know. I have to go look. I have to go look. But anyway. But that's it, guys. Look how stinking cute. For light it up week, I think that that's adorable. It came out so cute. Oh, I gotta twist this a little more. There we go. There we go. There. Now it's all. Now it's on. I know, Patsy. I wish you could because I want to light it up. You know what, guys? When I finally get the light, uh, the light bulb, I will light it up for you. But there we go. So that is it. That is it. It's so pretty. I need the tiny one, I know. I'm sure Lowe's has it. I just got the wrong one. I just thought it was the same as my chandelier, but it's not. It's just not. Oh, this is still really, this paper is still super, 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 super wet. So anyway, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to give it another two coats of my um, decoupage medium, and um, it'll be done. It'll be ready to go. I probably won't put this in my window, um, in my bay window until after the holidays because now it's falls out there and then it, it's going to be Christmas in my bay window So we're going to wait until fall Oh, you have hocus pocus pillows. Yeah, you can do them on pillows. Absolutely. You can put the transfers on there Thank you. Thank you, Irma. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Juanita Thank you, Terry. All right, ladies. I'll let you go. Thank you so much for joining me today on Craft around the clock, light it up week. I appreciate you joining me. I know, I, Mickey. I just have. To, I think I'm. I just think I'm bringing this in with me, just so I make sure I get the right base. I just have, no. I think just need to. It's gonna. The base has got to be small. That's it. But thank you, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you guys, if you can keep our fancy friends in your prayers, I have a, a prayer. Um, if you could please, you see our friend on here from the stock exchange. She's on here quite often. Her name is Tammy. Her husband had an accident on 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 the job today, and um, some some kind of a bar or something hit his eye, and he wasn't able to see. And they had to rush him to the hospital. So um, please keep keep her in your prayers. You, you definitely see her on here all the time. She's a fancy friend, Tammy from the stock exchange, or you see me do lives from her store here in town. Um, but her husband had a, um, an accident on the job today and he got hurt. So please, please keep, um, his name is Steve. Please keep Steve in your prayers today. I would appreciate it. And um, also keep everybody in your prayers. Um, God knows who needs them. But um, I would please appreciate that. She just um, sent me a text uh, about two hours ago. Um, and I was just at the store this, this morning with her. And talking to he called on the phone he was talking with her and everything like that and then she called um me and told me about his accident so uh, i have to find out what's going on with that with him and oh please i pray that his eyes going to be okay and um yes lots of prayers for steve you remember the stock exchange she's on here all the time she's probably at the hospital right now um thank you everybody and yes please pray for, for the queen's family that they um that they get uh, through that and um, prayers for the queen absolutely and prayers for all our fancy friends that needs them and if you ever need prayer said on on a live guys please private message me and i will make sure that um we get it out there so all right everybody thank you so much for joining me today i love you all have a wonderful wonderful rest of your thursday god bless you all and um you guys mean the world to me Mwah. thank you everybody and i will see you uh probably tomorrow all right everybody love you Bye.